Starting the day off at Dunkin' Donuts, and we're back in Estancia Lapacho for another video where we have to clean out one of our grandpa's properties, and this time we're heading to his underground bunker. That's right. In the past, we've been to Estancia Lapacho to clean out his luxury mansion full of supercars, lifted trucks, and I wonder what the underground bunker has in store for us. It could be some crazy cool vehicles, so we've got the trailer, we've got our truck, let's head on over. If you guys end up enjoying today's video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. And while you're down there, if you haven't already subscribed, I would appreciate it so much if you did. All right, we're going to roll out here. The weather is always good in the Stancil Apacho. It's bright, 80, and sunny, so it's going to be a good day. I'm just wondering what kind of vehicles we're going to find because this bunker was about $5 million to build about 10 years ago. So there's probably a ton of vehicles down there just in storage or whatever. I don't know. They could be some secret vehicles. That nobody's ever seen so i'm excited to check it out and it's right down the road i think we're going to be there in about 30 feet here as soon as we round this corner okay there it is there's not much above ground it is a bunker but here we go we're pulling in it looks pretty cool got some cool landscaping some rock texture on the outside and then we're gonna pull in and then we gotta open up the door here there's a security camera but i don't think it works anymore so let's uh let's check it out i've got the garage door opener three two one what do we got what do we got oh my gosh there's some vehicles down here and i did not doubt it one bit oh these are some nice cars what is that a ferrari a six by six brabus g-wagon all right we're gonna have some fun today boys so what the plan is, is we're going to test drive all these vehicles. We got to make sure they run, fill them up with fuel, and take back one today. I didn't think we were going to have five vehicles, but we've got enough room for one to two vehicles for us. We're actually going to back this out of the bunker for now just because we have limited space. There we go. Park it along the side. At least try to. There we go. The keys should be hanging up in one of the compartments over here. Yep, here it is. All right, got the key for the Ferrari. So we're going to start with the most expensive car because we want to see if it runs because that'll be a good find for us. But here we go. No issue. Oh my gosh. He did have people maybe taking care of this property. Like I said, I don't know. He just handed us the title and the keys to the property. And yeah, that's as simple as it is. So here we go. Let's rip this thing, man. Oh my gosh. It's loud. It's quick. We're doing 115 already. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is one of the newer Ferraris. So this must have been placed down in the within the last couple of years or so because it only could be a 2021 or up. So not too old. Here we go. Let's pull in. Okay, we're gonna leave it above ground. But check out the paint color on this thing. This is a matte blue custom wrap to protect the paint on it but i think it looks pretty cool everything is blue so kind of a theme going on all these properties have a different color theme and uh this is the blue underground bunker or the blue bunker and uh let's see what we got next so we got a rolls royce this is a nice vehicle though the nice thing about it is it's a mansory a mansory package is like uh, another three hundred thousand dollars it comes with custom carbon fiber accents custom wheels you know the side skirt what else we got on this thing the rear exhaust and all this stuff is pretty crazy so all right let's jump in start it up all right it runs maybe not okay we're gonna have a battery issue right there the dash is lighting up like a christmas tree okay there we go fire up come on right, there we go give it some gas boys get it out of the bunker all right it runs there we go all it took was just a couple of rpms on the dash and we're moving but it does light whoa you didn't see that all right it looks cool it's got a two-tone paint on it it's got the mansory upgrades but uh i'm not a rolls race guy i like a supercar race car and oh the train just flew by all right we gotta wait for these things to go up but uh, it's a pretty nice vehicle besides the fact nice interior look at the leather it is a two-door though and then you pull the seat back which is kind of pointless why would you have a second row in a rolls royce you know if you gotta open the seat to get to the back seat it's a mess i would rather have a four-door rolls royce because you know you can ride in luxury you got the automatic closing rear doors but i don't know this one's like a fake rolls royce almost but really not all right we're gonna leave this one down here what else we got oh it gets pretty dark i don't see any electrical on besides the emergency signs because i think the electrical bill got cut off here so there's really nothing and we got some trucks and some dirt bikes to test out here but let's test out this ford this is an f-250 lariat this is an upgrade from our truck as you can see we've got the older style f series and uh it's pretty nice don't get me wrong but it definitely is nice to get the new style because I'll show you what this one's got over ours. Open up the door here. It's got the full new interior digital display. They redesigned the thing for the generation, I think it's four or something. I don't know. These things have been around for a while, the F-Series. But as you can see on the dash, you got a lot of new touchscreen nav, all that crazy stuff. So pretty cool upgrades. Check out the back too. It's got a ton of leg room. So you won't have to worry about that. I mean, it is an extended cab. It's a super crew, super duty cab. So pretty sweet. What else we got here? tailgate you got the trailer hitch gooseneck okay so this thing's pretty nice well you saw how ours drove over on the way here so let's see how this thing drives it's fired up still got the ford chime okay we're running here let's go ahead turn all the lights cab lights running lights perfect oh even got strobes on it what 
All right, this is pretty cool. Here we go. Wait a minute. Is it rolling coal? Look it. It's rolling coal. My truck doesn't do that. Okay, this is pretty sweet. This might have a custom tune on it. It might be deleted, making it roll more coal. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, that's pretty sweet. Let's throw the strobes on. Okay, so you got the rear strobes. You got the side, I think. Yeah, pretty bright lights too. And this thing rides pretty good. We've got a little bit beefier wheels. Oh, all right. I think it wants us to go off-roading. It just completely took a right. And now we're off-roading on these trails. Let's check it out. Hit the jump. Oh my gosh. Can we drift it? Maybe not. It is a truck at the end of the day, but we might be able to spin it up on some dirt if we can find some dirt somewhere. But let's head on back. We got to test out the G-Wagon and then some dirt bikes. And we've got a couple more things to do here before we're done. And also, if you didn't know, we're going to be selling some of these vehicles today. We are not going to be keeping them because number one, it's too expensive to upkeep with the maintenance on them. You know, maintenance alone on a Ferrari is like 30 grand a year. Plus the Rolls Royce, you're like 20. So, I mean, you just, you have to tune those things up. You have to keep them in good condition. It's, uh, it's a lot more than most people think. That's why you got to have a lot of money to buy these cars. But we're going to sell them. We can't afford them, unfortunately. And then also, we're probably going to sell the G-Wagon. I, I honestly have no use for this thing. We might keep the Ford. But last thing, uh, or second to last thing to test out is this dirt bike. And then we'll test out the G. Whoa, this thing leans, man. It might be a race bike or a dirt bike. It's a Yamaha YZ250. We've seen these before. Hit it. Oh my gosh, it bunny hops. Let's see. We got a little jump over here on the rock wall. So let's get some speed on this thing. A little slow though i don't know what uh cc this thing is but definitely not fast as the other ones we've had let's see where's a good jump spot there we go hit it oh look at that we cleared it we cleared the bushes all right that's that's pretty sweet this thing gets some mad air good wheelie and uh you're over the fence so all right let's see what's over here let's kind of explore oh we got a train moving Can we beat the train beat the train here we go boys no, we're not going to beat it. Oh, my gosh. Here, let's follow the train. Let's see where it goes. Jeez, that thing is moving, man. We're doing like 50. That thing's probably hauling at like 75 miles an hour. That's pretty cool. Yeah, this thing is not the fastest dirt bike we've had. Oh, my gosh. We're getting out, Ryan. Oh, no. I was going to say we're getting out, Ryan, by the train. But let's head out here. We're going to go back to the property and test out the G-Wagon. On the way back, though, we're going to take the trails. I think there's a trail entrance right over here. Let's see if we can drive on that. There's a house or something over here. This is pretty cool. I wonder if our grandpa owns this and he's just waiting to give it to us, but I highly doubt it. Here we go. This is the trail on the way back. We got a little van there. All right, that's like a little sawmill, actually, not a house. Yeah, it's a lot better on the trails. I think we're going a little bit faster than we were before. We are, yeah, we're actually moving pretty good. Nice. Got a little horn on this dirt bike. All right. Oh, watch it, watch it. There we go, take a left. All right, we're back at the bunker. Kind of funny to say, but here we go. We're gonna leave these things above ground too. We could probably load them up on the trailer or in the back of the truck, honestly. So we're gonna be taking a couple cars to sell with us, but we got one more vehicle to test out and then we're moving out here. All right, most may not like G-Wagons, but this one's special because it's like $500,000. So we're gonna make some money on this one, boys. And uh, it's cool. It's a Brabus package, a six by six. It doesn't look too bad, just not my cup of tea. I don't want a G-Wagon in a truck form, also with six by six wheels, because it's impossible to park this thing. So, I mean, everyone's got their own taste. This is not for me. Whoa, this thing flies, man. Jeez, we just took a complete U-turn at like 50, and it did pretty good. So it must have some good handling capabilities, but all right, we're uh, we're not going to keep this thing. Here we go. We got to load up the Ferrari. We got to load up the Rolls Royce, load up the dirt bikes, and we're going to go sell them at the uh, dealership back in town there. So they should buy them for a good money. It's kind of like a trade-in value, but I'm not wasting time. You know, I'm not going to list it online and wait for all that stuff. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to back the trailer up, get the Ferrari on, and we'll meet you guys when we're heading out. All right, boys, we're backing out of the bunker right now, and this is kind of crazy. We loaded the Ferrari on sideways. The Rolls Royce is on there. These are the two most expensive vehicles. Hopefully, they don't fall off, but uh, we're balling on a budget, number one. Number two, we don't have any other trailers, so this is the only way to get these things to town without having to take, like, four taxis. So, I mean, it'll work. We're not going too far. We'll keep it uh, on the right side of the road. What I ideally want for price is the Rolls Royce. I want to sell for $650,000. That's a good value because these things can sell for seven fifty dollars market. And the Ferrari, that's an SF90. We're selling that thing for like eight hundred dollars minimum because that's almost a million plus market value. And like I said, we're getting a trade-in value price. So 
they can make some money on it but i don't want to deal with all the uh other stuff so that's why we're getting the trade in value oh all right there we go where's this place at i think we gotta take another right and then we should be there they're down by the port they're an import export company for cars so i think we gotta take one more right there we go all right i think straight ahead that's the building it's a small little import export car business so he said drop it off on the side so we're gonna pull in right here there it is let's unload the ramps first up is the rolls royce so we're gonna see what he can do i'm gonna go meet with him and then once we're done guys i'll let you know what we sold them for and we'll head out of here all right they're gone they're sold it's a done deal we sold them not for what we were wanting okay he purchased this for 600 and this one for 720 so a little bit less than we were asking for but if you really think about it we made over a million dollars so it's all good signed all the paperwork that's a million more dollars in our pocket that we didn't have next step up is i think we're gonna build a bunker of our own we're gonna build a secret underground bunker but uh not in estancia la pacha we're gonna do it probably in elm creek or something we want to have something cool I, I don't know let me know what you guys think we might build something like even crazier a mansion or something there's a lot of stuff we could do with a million dollars. Maybe buy some cars, but those are lame. Maybe buy some real estate to invest in. There's a lot of stuff we could do. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, remember, like button down below and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next one.